and Facebook. It's me, Chris King with Pamper Sisters. Whew, it's been a journey trying to do master batching and hope making a lot of product at one time. Um, more than I care to really go into detail. Um, I'm going to show you how much one batch made. My husband made me this mold. And one batch made, now bear with me because i got to move the camera. My one batch made this puts out this okay and um, now I'm getting ready to I've already did the log splitting on it now I'm getting, getting ready to cut it I'm gonna cut a few logs um, I, I already did the log splitting so to make it easier um, I am gonna do a video showing how I mix it up I just gotta get a little bit more comfortable because I have to it's not um, it's different working with a lot more oils so anyway um, let me just take it from, I'm just going to take it from where it is. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up. The reason why I cut this off a little is because one of my strings is popped in, um, popped in the uh, uh, middle and I don't, this is how it looks. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's the back of this one, so. So, um, all I did was, uh, in the soap mold swirl, and, um, see, these are kind of the same. be interesting to see how the, how it looks, um, throughout the batch, because I did it in the, uh, I did it in the soap mold. Um, I have to, I've learned several things. I have to get a bigger mixing pot because I'm too, the capacity, I think that's the word, on my mixing pot. And I need to get, when I'm doing coloring, I need to get bigger, I guess, mixing things on those too. See, this is a little different. It's got a little bit more of the swirl and then I you know took my chopstick and you know worked through it let's see these kind of look the same so that's kind of different caught it on the end right there okay so these look the same let me get another row um, anyway this um, this batch yields 72 bars at one time so which is really awesome because it saves me a little time and I can get ready for Christmas a little faster holiday shopping so um, this is how this looks oh this one got a lot of it Let's see okay this is my delicious scent um, delicious my daughter came up with the name of it because she said the scent smells so delicious. It's a blend that I make. And uh, so, so what I'm going to do after I finish um, um, cutting all of these is I'm going to, of course, let them cure. Um, I can't CPOP with this because. Um, it's the mold is just too big to fit in the oven nor do I care to lift it and make it fit in the oven um, it's just too much so what I do on this is you know I just mark it and um, kind of got it at the bottom there um, ooh, this one's cute this looks like a face see um, but can you see that? Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna mark it and let it cure, and I got a lot of the. I'm gonna let it cure, and um, then it'll be ready. So to do it the old-fashioned way, the way I used to do it beforehand. Um, in addition to the 72, I have guest bars, and I think I get about. Let's see, I have, let's see, let me cut this one and then I can tell you. Not guest bars, but samples I put in people's soap. Um, so, 
let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 4. So I have 32 samples will come out of this and that's pretty good um, that I can drop in um, soaps when um, I get soap orders. So um, it's a pretty good, uh, this is a pretty good size and I get out of this, how much oil do I use? Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me get uh, my uh, my uh, recipe, and I'll tell you. I use 360 ounces, which is uh, hold on. 360 it's about 20 20 22 pounds about 22 somewhere in there 21 22 pounds 20 let's just say 22 pounds so 22 pounds of oil, 360 ounces, and this is what I get, and it saves me, this is, because you, you, it's just a little bit, you might as well add maybe 15, 20 more minutes onto mixing, but everything, you have to prepare yourself anyway, and you get all of this, so, um, if you need, um, you know, you have someone that can make a a mold for you. That's the cheapest way to go when I started pricing them is to have someone make you a nice wood mold then um, you come out like that. The only problem is I gotta use freezer paper again and I do not like lining but it is bigger so it's not like lining a log mold. Um, and that's all I have for right now you guys. Um, once I get good at doing this uh, making it then I feel comfortable enough to film it and still able to get that soap out get it in the um, mold in time then I will do a video on it I'll talk to you guys later you have a happy Labor Day bye